Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today in this tutorial we will create this simple part and free card using these dimensions. So we will create this piece as a practical exercise. So first we create new file. We go to part design of range and here we create a new body, create new sketch. This first sketch we will create in YZ plane because because we want to sketch this face. So we select this YZ plane. Okay, and now we will do the sketch of this face. So select this polling tool and do the sketch. So, okay, now let's constrain this sketch. So we select this horizontal constraint tool and constrain this line, this point and this point. Now this point and this origin point. And now we select this equal constraint. We, we click in this line and this line. Okay, and now select this symmetrical tool constraint and select these two points of this line and this origin line. So now we will give dimensions to this sketch. So here in this model we can see this dimension, this dimension, and this and this dimension for the, for the pad and this height. So we come back to this model and here we select this horizontal distance tool and here we change to this dimension and here to sixth and now we select this vertical distance tool and here we change to 20 and here 5 so you can see that this sketch is full constrained so close this sketch press home and now we go to pad tool and here we check this option symmetric to plane and we change length to 75 and click ok now we have this object so now we will create this sketch click in this icon the second sketch we will create in yz plane because we want to sketch this face so select yz plane switch to section view click in this icon and here we use this extract tool and we extract this edge and this edge and now select full line tool and draw this sketch. Click in this point and now draw this. Okay. This wire must be closed. And now the, the next step is to give the mesh to the sketch. So here in this model we can see 65, a pad of 15, and we have 65 for the 8. We have this dimension, this dimension. So we come back and set the dimension of this sketch. So first we select this tool. And here we change it to 65. Select this horizontal distance tool. And here we change to 54. And here 17 okay and now we select this vertical distance tool and here we change to 20 and now we select this point in this point we change this dimension to 65 and click close for some and now we go to pad tool and here the pad is 15 so we change this dimension to 15 and then we check this smart to plane option and click OK. And now we select this face and create new sketch. Here we will do this sketch. We will sketch this face. So we can see this 18 for the radius and this 25 the pad of this cycle so we come back to this model and here we we select this x 
extract tool and extract this edge select this cycle tool and through this cycle and then select this vertical distance constraint and select these two points and now we select this tool and change this diameter to to 36 and now click close go to pet tool and here we check this option reverse it change it to 25 and click ok okay we failed something let's see this model Okay, we go to model and we go to this sketch. Okay, we I fill it here. Here we change this dimension to 25. Click OK. Close this sketch. Go to this pad. Yeah, yes. Now it's okay. So now select this face uh, and go to all tool in this icon and here we can see in this model that these all have, have a diameter of 22 so we go to all parameters and here we set true goal and here we set 22 and click ok so now we have this all and now select this face and create a new sketch and here we use this cycle tool and do these cycles for the walls select this equal constraint tool and constrain these two cycles and now select this symmetrical tool select these two points and now this is like so in this model we can see that this cycle have a diameter of 12 so we come back and uh, we have this distance 45 so here we select this vertical distance tool and here we change this distance to 45 and we select this diameter constraint tool and here we change to 12 and ok click close go to power pet tool change the type to trigger and click ok so as you can see we have this model finished so thank you for watching this video.